And that brings us now to chapter two. Stepping up the game. The year is 2011. I am in middle school. Now, I waited so long to go back to a haunt because Knott's left a very, very good first impression on me. Uh, Obviously, I was scared. Uh, I was terrified to to even step foot back into Knott's. Um, So, what what do I do in 2011 that is, at the time, and at least in my head at the time, was scarier than Knott's? From what I've heard, from what I've seen, what do I do? Well, I'll tell you what I do. Studios Halloween Horror Nights. I was given the invitation from my neighbor, who used to be one of my best friends, um, to go to Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights. Now, when I was younger, I heard that this was the scariest event. This was like, this took Knots to a whole new level. Like, Knots was like your starter, Horror Nights was like when you eventually got into it after so many years. And the sole purpose behind that was because they used a lot of IPs um, and, and just were on top of their game back in the day. So here we are, 2011, and uh, I get invited to go. And I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. You know, it's been a while. Why not? Let me go check out, see what Halloween Horror Nights has to offer. It can't be that bad, right? Well, (laughs) the day comes to finally go to Halloween Horror Nights, and I'm pretty excited, but I'm also very terrified because I knew how my last haunt experience was in 2008, and I didn't want that to repeat in front of friends and my friend's family. So uh, the entire car ride up there, I'm pretty quiet. I I just didn't talk to anyone. I was very quiet, and they can kind of see that already. They knew I was nervous. They knew I, I had a history of, of going to Not Scary Farm and, and being scared because I, I grew up with this kid pretty much my entire life. Um, so they knew that history. They knew all about it. Parents talked and whatnot. Well, the time has come. We are standing right in front of the main gate, and I'm like, okay, there's no going back now. I can't chicken out because there's a whole group of people here and if I chicken out and someone has to sit out and miss everything, that's a waste of money. So I got I got to do what I can to, to, to hold myself in, to, to really enjoy the event and, and, and whatnot. So we walk through the gate. Uh, the event's already started. We, we missed opening ceremony. At the time, I didn't know anything about that. I didn't know what it, what it was or anything. I just kind of went to the event. It was a brand new event for me. And we're standing right in the dead center. At the time, it was in front of House of Horrors. 
Now, I was terrified. And I'll even admit there there was some tears that came out of my eyes because I was that scared. But there was a moment where I heard someone in our group saying, dude, it's not that bad. Just look up and enjoy it. Just have fun. And I'll never forget that because then I did look up. I looked around and realized I wasn't the only one scared at these events. I looked around and, and got that, that confidence build and was like, wow, this is actually really fun. Like, this is cool. I like this. Um, the year that I went, there was um, Hostel as a maze based off Eli Ross movie. House of a Thousand Corpses, Rob Zombie. Um, La Arona, um, The Thing, Annihilation, which was the, uh, the 2011 pre-sequel, if you will. Um, Alice Cooper's Welcome to My Nightmare. And the Terror Tram, Scream for Your Life. Now, me being a fan of all this, I, we've mentioned in the last episode, I, I would watch these every year. I'd watch the POVs, I'd see what it was like, and I was very interested and intrigued by them. I've always been as a little kid. Um, and this was the first year I actually got to go to Horror Night. So I remember watching, back in the day, because I was such a scaredy cat, I would watch the mazes ahead of time so I knew where the scares were going to come. So I can actually kind of prepare myself. I still got scared when they jumped out, but I would prepare myself. Um, and I remember the first thing I think we went through was, um, oh, and they had the house of horrors, which I think was the Wolfman, uh, cause that, that reboot had just came out. So they transformed the house of horrors into the Wolfman. I think that was like the first maze we went through. Um, from there, I, I do remember, uh, going through house of a thousand corpses. Um, I remember being somewhat of a Rob Zombie fan at the time. I wasn't a massive Rob Zombie fan, uh, a little bit bigger than I am now. So I know his movies, I know his music more now today than I did back in the day. I only knew like a handful of songs back in the day. And I was like, oh, fucking Rob Zombie, he's a badass, bro. I was telling all my friends like, yes, yeah, fucking he's a badass, dude, Rob Zombie. Never seen House of a Thousand Corpses, so I couldn't even contest to that one. I remember going through that and just being blown away. Never seen the film, and I wouldn't have seen the film until much, much later. Um, and I just remember that was a, a 3D maze and just seeing that and seeing the facade of, of Captain Spaulding's chicken spot in his, in his museum and then actually going in and, and kind of reliving that iconic film. Um, that was a, a good start to me for the event. Um, from there, I remember uh, after hitting Wolfman in House of Thousand Corpses, I think we did the Terror Tram, which was Scream for Your Life. Might I add, the one and only time I've ever seen Ghostface at Halloween Horror Nights. Um, Scream for Your Life was a terror tram, and the, and the story concept behind that was really cool. They were filming a new stab film in the Universal backlot, but the ghost face killer was terrorizing said set and causing chaos in the backlot. So Ghostface was basically running around the terror tram drop-off area trying to, in a sense, make you victims and kill you. I remember walking through that, and at the time, I didn't realize how important it was, but... As I got older and, and started appreciating movies and cinema more, um, that was the very first time outside of doing the studio tour that I actually got to um, walk the sets, the iconic sets of Psycho, which you know is the Bates Motel, the Bates House. And then to even further that, walk the iconic set of the World of the Worlds plane crashing, which at the time it wasn't a big deal to me, but now thinking back at it, that... That really is a huge deal. That was the first time ever that I got to walk on those sets. And, and for me, being a, a, a horror guy, me being just a, a all movie buff, like that, it's a pretty big step in my, my uh, career of first actually walking on sets and whatnot. So that, that, was, that, was, that was fun. And I, now looking back at it, it's, just, it's a memorable experience for me. So I remember walking through that, seeing Ghostface everywhere. It was a very good, it was a very good story, very good concept. Very cool. After we got off that, we did um, La Llorona, and I remember being terrified in that. I knew I knew a little bit about the folktale, um, and and just being terrified, but also very amazed by it. Uh, and for those who follow Halloween Horror Nights news for 2022, we should. It's looking like we're going to get that returning this year, so I'm very excited to walk through that again. Much older and much, you know, a little bit wiser in this community to kind of appreciate it more. Um, so I remember going through that and just being terrified. Uh, of this character afterwards and, and I remember that same year going home and doing a ton of research on this character 
Um, so it, it was cool to go through this, this, you know, Mexican folktale and, and see this story of, of her drowning her kids and whatnot and, and just being blown away by what I saw in there. It, it was definitely a new experience for me. Uh, and that was like the first original maze I went through that was put on by Halloween Horror Nights. I mean, obviously at Knott's, uh, Viva Las Vegas and Dollhouse are always going to be memorable to me because those are the first two mazes I ever went in ever. And they were both originals. Um, so for a Halloween Horror Nights original, that was the first one I ever went through. That was original, so that was cool. Uh, and then the last maze we hit was a uh, Hostel. Uh, I don't remember much about it. I just do. I The one thing I do remember about that more than anything was the fact that there was this ending scene where, like, these dogs came out, and I just remember, like, backing up and, like, holding my group back. Like, they didn't – I didn't want to go past that area, but eventually they forced me to go because I had to keep the line moving. Um, so I, I do remember that much, but I, I – I just remember leaving and knowing that I wanted to come back next year. Um with my dad and and I knew my cousin at the time um George who who was early on Nights of Horror um he would watch POVs too and me and him were very fascinated in it and I knew he would enjoy this event uh he he was scared the first year as me too but he come he he has come now to actually appreciate the event much like myself so it was it it, it really s- started a spark for my for me going to a haunt every single year and it really opened my eyes to there's a world of haunts out there i've only now been to not scary farm now halloween horror nights and i knew i wanted to come back to halloween horror nights next year so i remember leaving thinking damn i'm i want to come back next year I, i definitely do and sure enough 2012 rolls around but I will save that for another episode of this docu-series. So, with all that being said, the one thing I have to say about to, to, to kind of wrap this up and to end it is uh, don't be afraid to step up your game. Because you never know. You might walk into something that you thought was pretty, like, scary, terrible, whatnot, and you may walk out becoming a fan. And that one year, I walked out and I did not know what future awaited for me for, for starting this tradition, but I knew it would eventually lead to something big. But, like I said in the last video, that's just a story for another time. Until then, I'll see you guys next Monday for another episode of Knights of Horror Origins. Stay spooky. Chapter 3, 2012, The Return. Um, I knew I wanted to go back. I knew I wanted to take some new people with me, and I knew I wanted to share this experience with others. So I went to Pops again. Now, the thing you got to know about 2012 is this started the era of The Walking Dead. Feeling the love.